a crime that cost citizens more than a million dollars this year, and that prompted the police to form a special task force to stop it. There were more than 100 air conditioning unit thefts in two months. Two News reporter Marla Carter is live at the Riverside Police Station to tell us how police and businesses are working together to try to catch crooks. Marla? Well, Russ, that task force started here at the Riverside Division, but involves officers all across the city. They've helped collect data and intel to help catch the bad guys. It may seem like just scraps of metal, but if you have enough of it, it's more like a fine gem. Well, this bale of copper right here weighs about 2,000 pounds, and uh, the value of this right now is, is worth over $6,000. And inside these old air conditioning radiators, copper is just what you'll find. But sometimes what's brought in wasn't something the seller got legally. So Jeff Ray with Advanced Metal Recycling is on the lookout for any crooks. Here's a purchase uh, being made right here. So we show our employees segregating out the materials that were brought in. So we can monitor this purchase from the office, and we can even radio out and ask them um, what that material represents. Twelve cameras monitor every square foot. Everything is taped and recorded, and has even been used to prosecute suspects. We work with TPD and local law enforcement weekly. Support from Scrap Metal Yards has been a big part of TPD's successful task force. We put together a task force using JAG grant money um, to address the problem and get some intel. The JAG grant is federal funding that is paid for overtime to investigate the cases. In six weeks, officers have seen a drop in AC theft. Meanwhile, Jeff will keep working to separate the good metals out. We believe that we reap what we sow. So if we do it right, we know that our business is going to increase long term. So we really don't worry about the business that we might lose. Police recommend that you put a fence around your AC unit if it's outside. So that will prohibit heat thieves from getting to it. And they also recommend that you attach some sort of alarm to your system. Reporting live from South Tulsa, Marla Carter, 2 News works for you.